Next Station Tokyo is a 1 to 4 player game for ages 8 and up with an average gameplay length of 30 minutes, published by Blue Orange. The basic overview of Next Station Tokyo has players playing over 4 rounds, and in each round, each player will be drawing a subway line with a single color pencil on their map sheet. You will start at the departing station that matches your color pencil and draw lines to stations determined by the shape on the station cards that will be flipped during each round. Once all five green station cards are revealed, the round ends and you will score for that color and pass the color pencil left to the next player while taking the new color pencil from the player on your right. Shuffle station cards and begin again with the new color. Do this until the end of the fourth round and proceed to final scoring, and the player with the most points wins. To set up for a four-player game, give each player a map of Tokyo sheet and one color pencil. If playing with three players, put the extra color pencil between two of the players, and in a two-player game, put the extra pencils, one between both players, with one on each side. Then shuffle the station cards. These include the green and red station cards. You can either place them in between the players or have the last player to have taken the subway be the controller for the first round. The controller's job is to flip over station cards for the round. With that, setup is complete. Before we start a round, let's go over the player sheet. The top half contains the map you will be drawing your tracks on. There are four kinds of stations and each has a different shape to help identify them. Also, there are four stations that are filled in with a color. These are your departing stations. You will start each round at one of these stations that matches the color pencil you have for that round. In the middle of the map, you have the green central loop. This is a train line that is already in play and you must work around and with it to optimize the points you can earn during the game. In the background of the map are these yellow lines and they divide the map into 13 different districts. You have nine main districts in the main part of the map and four secondary districts, one in each corner. Below the map, you will have the score sheet where you will fill in after each round and we will go over how to do that a little later. To start the game, each player will simultaneously play. The controller will reveal the top card of the station deck. Each player will start at their departing station that matches their color pencil and draw a line to a station that matches the symbol shown on the station card. When constructing your track, it is always optional. At times, you may not be able to reach a station that matches the symbol or just might not want to. If that occurs, ignore the card and wait for the next station card to be revealed. If you choose to draw the track, you will draw it in a straight line going diagonal, horizontal, or vertical along the dashed gray line connecting the two stations. Your first line must come from your departing station. Once everyone has drawn their first line, the controller will flip the next station card. Now, starting with your second line and so on, you can extend your track from either end of your line. You must always link two stations and never cross through an already existing line. You also cannot go back through a station that is already part of the same line, which means no looping with the same color. And you always cannot have two lines of the same color linking the same two stations. You can, however, use other departing stations as if they are regular stations. Once all players have drawn their lines, the controller will flip over another station card. Station cards with all four symbols are called jokers. They let you choose any station symbol to extend your track to as long as you start from either end of your train path and not from any of the stations in the middle. Also, these joker cards allow for you to add an additional track if able. For example, I can use this central loop and create a double track connecting these two stations. There can never be more than two tracks connecting the same pair of stations, no matter the color. The controller will continue to flip station cards until they have flipped over five green stations. But you might also encounter another special card. This special card is the railroad switch symbol. When this card is revealed, you will immediately draw a second card and place it next to the railroad switch card. This card lets you connect any of your previous stations on your line that matches your current color 
to the station on the second card drawn. This is the only instance when you can have more than two lines of the same color coming out of the same station. This also allows you to create another end to your line to continue off of. If the railroad switch card is revealed in the first or second turn of any round, just ignore it and draw a new station card. Keep playing until the fifth green card is revealed, draw your final line for the round, and then proceed to scoring for the color route. Looking at your train line, you will count the number of different districts your line passes through. Once you have the number, write it in this first box here. Then find the district that has the most stations, or stops, and count the number of them in that district. Write that number here, then multiply the two together for your total for that line, and write that here. Once all players have their totals written down, they will pass their color pencil to the player to their left, collecting the new color for the player on their right, the next controller, if you are changing who the controller is, will shuffle the station cards together and then begin the new round by drawing the first station card from the deck. In this new round, you will start at your new departing station that matches your current color. Each round can last anywhere from 5 to 10 turns depending upon the station cards drawn. With the start of the second round, you have another opportunity for points. You can gain points for having two lines of a different color stopping in the same station. This is called an interchange. When an interchange occurs in one of the outer eight districts, you may fill in the district on the minimap of the district that it occurs in. The four corner districts will give you 10 points per district with an interchange, and the other four will provide you five points per district. However, the remaining five central districts will not provide you with this bonus. You will continue playing the round like normal and score for the new line. Pass the pencils left once more and get ready for your third round with your new pencil color. Throughout the game, you'll want to connect lines to your eight stations on the green central loop to avoid losing points. At the end of the game, each station not connected to another line on the loop will cost you three points per station. Bonus points are rewarded for interchanges anywhere on the map, including the stations on the central loop. Once you have played and scored all four rounds, you will add the total together and write that number down here. Then add the points gained on the mini map for the eight districts and write that number here. If any stations on the green central loop are not connected to another line, you will put minus three points for each here. And finally, if you have any stations anywhere on your map with three different lines, including the green central loop, you will put the number of them here and multiply that number by five and write that number here. If there are any interchanges that have four different colors, write the number here and multiply by 15. And finally, any interchanges with five different colors, you will put that number here and multiply it by 30. Next, you will add all your totals together to get your final score. Write your final score here, and the player with the most points wins. And that is how you play Next Station Tokyo. The last section on the score sheet is for advanced play. To learn more about these, just check your rulebook and add them to play. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.